Hey y'all, if you are a little bit familiar with QR codes and have just a little bit of tech experience, I have right here what I think is a pretty awesome way that you can showcase your class's photos and videos all throughout the year. And I promise you it doesn't take a lot of work. So just sit back, relax, and I'll show you how to do it. So here I have a framed portrait of our memory QR code, and this is in Spanish because I'm Spanish immersion, but the freebie I have for you is also in English. And so when you scan this QR code, basically what pops up is a video link list of all the Animoto and iMovie videos that I've made and students have made throughout the year. So I hang this up on the wall of our classroom and when students have time, they can just walk up there with an iPod or an iPad, scan the QR code and you have to have internet for this to work um, with this type of QR code and then they can just sit back and enjoy and watch all the wonderful memories that we have made throughout our school year. The video link list that pops up is actually a note from Evernote. If you're not familiar with Evernote, it's an app and website and it works a lot like Google Docs. But what's nice is that in the note you can add hyperlinks, photos, and video attachments all in one note, which makes it exceptionally awesome for storing and sharing all of your classroom memories. So to get started with Evernote, just download the app, the link is in the description box down below, and create a free account. If you need more info on creating a note, just Google it. There's lots of info out there. Basically, you click on the plus sign and you get started. Write a title for your memory list and now you're ready to add some video links or photos. To add attachments like photos or videos, just click on the paper clip and upload your file. Now, Evernote allows you only a certain amount of storage per month unless you pay a fee, so be careful and don't go crazy trying to upload a bunch of videos and photos right there in your note. I'll show you how I get all of my videos into one note. First, I would definitely suggest Animoto, an app and website for making super cute slideshows that come with a web link you can add to your Evernote. I love Animoto for slideshows because I can film from my phone or iPad, create the slideshow easily within the app, and then open it in the Animoto website without any problem. Animoto automatically gives me a link to the video to add to my memories video link list. Once I've created a slideshow video in Animoto, I click on it and copy the URL above it. Then I go to my note in my Evernote account, type in the title and highlight, then pay very close attention to this, I click on the three little dots. A box will open and I click on the chain links icon and paste my Animoto web link. And now I have a video link in my memory code. Now, what about adding videos to your memory code from other sources such as iMovie or just your camera roll? Well, I suggest Dropbox. It's an app and a website and you can upload video from your device to your Dropbox app and then open it up in the Dropbox website on your computer. I like Dropbox better than Google Drive for this activity because in my opinion, it's more user friendly on a mobile device than Google Drive. I have also tried the website Copy and Dropbox just opens a lot better on my phone. So set up your free Dropbox account if you have it and upload your class videos to your account. After you've uploaded it, click on the chain link icon, then click on get link. Now you have the link for this video to add to your note in Evernote. Now once you have a video link in your note, you're ready to link it to a QR code. Click on share in your Evernote account and copy the link to your note. Go to a QR code creator website such as QR Stuff. Link is in the description box down below and paste your URL. I suggest clicking on the URL shortener feature. It will help make your QR code less complicated and easier to scan. Download the QR code onto your desktop. Pull up my freebie PowerPoint design that's in English and Spanish. You'll find it in my blog in the description box below. Go to insert picture and insert the QR code and add it into the frame. Print your slide, frame it, or laminate, place it on the wall of your classroom, and you and your students are ready to relive all of the awesome memories you've shared throughout the year. So I haven't told you the neatest thing, and that is 
When you create a note in Evernote, it automatically updates, but the URL link still stays the same. So you can add more photos and videos or whatever, and when students scan the QR code, all the new information will pop up also. So that's pretty neat. And this also could be a great end of the year gift for your students. You could just print out the sheet as it is, and they will be able to carry away with them these memories when they move on to the next classroom. So I hope this all makes sense. If you'd like to grab a copy of this freebie, just click on show more down in the description box and you'll find a link to the templates for you to use. If you enjoy this video, please give me a like and a nice comment would be sweet. And I hope you'll subscribe also and come back to visit. Have a wonderful week teaching teachers and I hope you'll come by soon. Bye-bye.